Hello and welcome to our collective worship service. Today we're going to be thinking about the importance of remembering and how remembering shapes the people that we are today. Now we're outside so it's a little bit difficult to light our candle but as you know when we light our candle in collective worship it reminds us that Jesus' light and love is with us wherever we go and he's with us now and we got this gorgeous sunshine day to remind us that he's with us now. So we're going to pause and be still and I'm going to say our opening prayer. So welcome to our time together. May God's love, joy and peace be with us all. Amen. Now we can't sing any songs at the moment but we have been doing um, some songs using our um, bodies rather than our voices. Well today, because we're doing things slightly differently, we're going to pause and be still and we're going to listen to a special song and let the children in this song sing to you. So let's be still as we listen to the blessing. still and I want you to think about something really good that happened yesterday. You keep it to yourself. Now I want to ask you whether you can think back to one of your early memories when you were really really young. Well objects and different special mementos they help us, don't they, to remind us of special times and special people. And I've bought some special things along with me today 
to help uh, with my collective worship and, and my talk. So let me show you some of the things that I've bought. I've got here a special music box. It's my first music box that I was ever bought and that was bought to be by my Nana when I was five years old. So that's really special. I've also bought my Girl Guide uniform because I was a member of the Girl Guides when I was younger and uh, this is my uniform and my little hat and I remember taking part in uh, Remembrance Day services when I was a Girl Guide and how special that was. I've also bought along my daughter's dollies, Tiny Tears Timmy and Little Tiny Tears and these belonged to our daughters and they loved playing with them. But also I bought along my wedding photo because that was a really significant and special day and so I bought that along as well. And also finally the wedding photos of our daughters a very special day one uh, days that we will really treasure and remember so I remember the wonderful times we had when they were children but also when they grew up as well so I'll pop that down there also I'm wearing a poppy today poppies are a really significant um, flower to help us remember those soldiers and those people, the men and women, who died in the world wars. And every year about this time of year, we, uh, we have poppies on sale and we buy them to remember and honour those people who gave their lives for us. So November is a special time of remembering. And on Remembrance Day, we remember the soldiers and service men and women who died or who were wounded. And you know, many soldiers in World War I were really very young when they went to fight in the war. They were still teenagers, the same age as some of your older brothers. When they left their homes and families, they didn't quite know what they were going to face and many were killed in battle. And some, many, many more, were injured as well and they have injuries that change their lives forever and many families lost their sons, brothers, fathers and uncles and that's why I'm standing by our war memorial in the village today because the war memorial's got the names of all the men and young men that died in the wars, World War I and World War II and we come and honour and remember them particularly on Remembrance Sunday. Remembrance is also about understanding how we cope with loss and sadness as well. And this year, across the village, we weren't able to um, celebrate Remembrance Sunday in quite the same way. But what we did do was come out of our homes at 11 o'clock, we had the silence together, and we uh, had the round of applause, which uh, we all did together. And we did this not only to remember the heroes that we lost in the wars, but also the heroes who serve us now in this current COVID crisis. So I'd like to ask you to quietly stand now. And we're going to take a minute just to be still and silent to honour those people that have given their lives for our freedom. And also to remember those people that are serving us now the key workers, those people that have lost their lives as well to the coronavirus. So let's stand and be still. people who have helped us in the past, those we knew and those we didn't know. Today we think especially of people who have died in wars and fighting. We take a moment to think of some special people, the soldiers, sailors, pilots, police, firefighters and ambulance drivers, all who risk their lives today 
for our safety, along with all of those key workers who continue to serve us and care for us during this coronavirus. And we say thank you. Thank you God for them. Amen. So when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. So we will continue to remember them. It's important to remember and to honour those who've gone before us and, and are heroes who died and fought to save... Uh, no, just, just leave that. Um, so today we remember... To, so today we consider the... We, so today we have considered the importance of remembering our wonderful memories that we all have and share uh, with families and friends and all the things that we've done but also our poppy reminds us of those heroes who've given their lives for us so god bless you and have a really good day